but the price paid for it was less than a dollar. It sold for, are you kidding me? $3,255 on auction. The starting bid was 25. I had no comps and thought I would be lucky to make a hundred. <gasps> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Found this t-shirt in the kids section, not even vintage from 2007, bought for $3 and 24 cents and sold it for 75. Bought for six and sold in less than three hours for full asking price and the item was damaged. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. Thanks for being here. If you're new here, let me know in the comments how you found the channel. If you've been here a while, for a while, thanks for coming back. All right, let's get started with the first one. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and hopefully when you're outsourcing, you can find these bolos. The first item here comes from The Restless Thrifter, and this is her YouTube channel right here. I will also link her down below. So if you hear me shout out a YouTube channel or a um, eBay store, that means they are members of my YouTube channel at level two. And if you would like to become a member for that same um, perk, you can join memberships. There is a link in the description. No pressure at all to join. You are still welcome to share your bolo. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you for being here and Let's talk about this first bolo. I'm selling some artwork on consignment for a friend. So this was free. She used to be a framer in the 90s and has a bunch of collectible prints, including some Broncos and Elway memorabilia. My consignment fee is 50%. Sold for 100 plus shipping on Mercari. And it is the final drive vintage John Elway print. And this is what it looks like. Sold today, paid $4.99 at the Goodwill last week. It is a Longitech Harmony 665-10 device university. A university. Universal remote. Brand new factory sold $219.99. Yeah, remote controls, look them up. Some of them go for crazy money. New old stock, factory sealed is incredible. Speaking of remotes, I just talked about this one in another video. Paid $10 of, um, I'm sorry, paid $10 for two sleep number remotes at a flea market. One sold after a few days. It was listed for full asking price and I have one more listed. This is a sleep number bed LPM 300G dual air chamber wireless remote. Sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Fan, ceiling fan remotes, remotes for TVs, remotes, remotes, remotes. Look them up. Some of them go for crazy money. Bought for six and sold in less than three hours for full asking price and the item was damaged. You guys. Scooby-Doo Warner Brothers Nutcracker, 14 inches tall, 1997, missing feather on hat. Sold for $114.99 plus shipping. Found three Ken Peterson signed seriograph prints rolled up at the bins. Oh my goodness. They were in great condition, sitting nicely on top of the pile of chaos. To my surprise, when I looked them up on Worth Point, post, I'm sorry, past sold comps were running for 150. I sold two of the three within a month, took a best offer of 200 plus shipping on a bundle deal, and I still have one left. I may be paid a dollar each. Don't overlook the art. Check it out. Goodwill Benz. Seriously? Wow. That's incredible. This one comes from Zeph Eclectics. And this is her eBay store. She purchased this at a local thrift store for $4 and sold it for $180. It's a hand-carved Adler 21-inch Noah's Ark Christmas tree. Primitive folk. Wow. That's amazing. $4. I can't believe she got that for $4. 
That is awesome. Somebody used the 10% off coupon, so that took it down to 180. Here's another one of hers. Purchased at the Goodwill for seven, sold for 94 full price. Not fun to ship. It was about twice as big as a standard snow globe. It's an ornate Christmas nativity scene snow globe revolving base music box, vintage Kirkland. And it sold for $94.99. And here is another one. She sold, um, paid 10 cents at a local thrift and sold it for full price of $75. Original Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Montgomery Ward. Um, I think it's a book. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap. And here is her YouTube channel. She paid 50 cents at a garage sale for this. Took eBay best offer of 85 plus shipping. It's a Star Wars Disney Parks Chief Chirpa Ewok plush stuffed animal. 50 cents into $94. These cufflinks were purchased in a jewelry lot at an online auction for $3. Multiple pieces in the lot. So I have less than 10 cents into these. Sold in about a month and buyer paid shipping. They're vintage Fenwick and Sailor sterling silver oil... Derek Cufflinks sold for $54. All right, found this guy at the Goodwill for $2.99. He is from World of Warcraft and is made by Blizzard. He is a bronze whelping dragon plush. Listed him and he sold in less than 24 hours for $149 on Mercari and only went a few towns over for me. I received a lovely message from the buyer. He had been searching for one for his sister who loves World of Warcraft. Made my day in more than one way. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of covered up by the... Oh, here you go. She gave me a picture of it without. That's awesome. I purchased the Tiffany & Company Christmas ornament at a, the Goodwill for $1.09. List on eBay for $2.80. Took best offer of $2.55. They also paid for shipping. Took less than a week to sell. Wow, it's a Tiffany & Company Puffy Heart Crystal Glass Christmas Ornament. Please return to, I don't know, something. Um, it got cut off. Please return to maybe Tiffany & Company? I don't know. That's, that's what it looks like. Starter Jackets. Local Thrift had it for $3. It was dirty. Soaked it in a tub with OxyClean overnight and took a month Took about a month to find the right buyer. It looks like it is a vintage Michigan State Spartans starter jacket, and it sold for $185.99. I won this on a whatnot giveaway. Paid nothing. Listed it for $69 and took a best offer of $50. Buyer paid shipping. It's a vintage 2002 Misfits Punk Rock Grunge Big Skull Band Concert T-shirt men's medium. I would love to know who was given that away on their whatnot auction. So um, if you're watching and this is your bolo, let me know down in the comments. Let's send some people over to their whatnot uh, channel. Um, you guys, if you're not sourcing on whatnot, it, there's definitely a good opportunity over there. I did a video of um, somebody bought an item on whatnot for $20 and sold it on eBay for $999. How crazy is that? So definitely check out that video. I will link it down in the description. I'm Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. Be sure to follow me if you're already on Whatnot. If you're not on Whatnot, there is a join um, Whatnot down below. It's a referral link and you'll get $15 of free money to shop if you use my referral link to join. So definitely do that and follow me Bolo Buddies over on Whatnot because I am selling and it is fun. Found this t-shirt in the kids section, not even vintage, from 2007. Bought for $3.24 and sold it for $75. It is a Y2K. If you don't know about the word Y2K, get to know it. Um, I did a video about it. It is a trending thing right now. And if you put it in your title, you may get a quicker sale. This is Y2K 2000 Invader Zim AOP all over print graphic t-shirt large mighty fine emo i don't know what that is but 75 bucks that's what it looks like i found this lamp at the goodwill bins wow this is i want to find this at the goodwill bins 
My average cost of goods that day was approximately $2.50. I just thought it was unique, and after researching, I saw a couple of red tulips by this maker that sold for almost $400 buy it now. I thought I'd take advantage that I did not see any yellow ones listed or sold and hope that this would make it more of a rare find. I put it up on auction with a starting bid of $395 and the ending bid, as you can see, went much higher. Happy for the sale the week before Christmas. It sold for, are you ready? $852. Ah, she got it at the Goodwill bins for $2.50. Get out of here. <gasps> Yellow Tulip Table Lamp. Wow. By Peter Bliss. 1980s pop art. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Okay. Um, No info on that one. Oh, here we go. I paid $28 at an antique store. I put it on auction for $99 with a $200 buy it now price. It sold for $200 after a few hours of being listed. Wow, it's an original M&A Hadley Pottery Christmas Tree Candlelight. And that's what it looks like. That is awesome. All right, this one comes from eBay store, Mac Pack CO. 1993 Avon, my first Christmas nativity set. Got this at a thrift store for $3 and sold on auction for $120. Buyer was all in for $141. Yes, this is definitely a bolo, an item to be on the lookout for. Um, I would say I would, I think I passed on one of these that was incomplete. And in hindsight, I probably should have picked it up because just selling it even as replacements probably would have been a smart thing to do. Kind of kicking myself right now. Got this King Fergus doll at the Goodwill for $2.99. He is from the movie Brave. He has hard head, arms, and legs with a soft body. Listed him for $199, and my sale brought it down to $169.99, but got an offer for $125 shortly after listing, so took it. Picked up a bunch of Disney that day and paid $56 for everything. Most of it has sold already. I keep going back and still finding stuff. Wonder how much is left in the back. So this is what he looks like. So his arms are like rubber. This was my best so far. I had this in my house, never used, and sold it for 697 cents. Just sitting in her house, hanging out, just bolo over there. Um, it is QuickBooks Desktop 2000 or Desktop Pro 2017. Like what? How much are these like new? Like if you're just buying it new, I have no idea. So if you just wanted to get QuickBooks Desktop Pro, how much would it be? Like, why is it because it's 2017 it went for more? Why did this go for so much? Or is that just how much they are? Paid $2 at the Goodwill Bins and sold for $125. Um, they are AFX Mega G Plus Formula Cars. HO scale slot cars. So yeah, slot cars can be big money. She sold these for $125 and she picked them up at the Goodwill bins for about two bucks. That's awesome. This one comes from Stellar Seller Sam. That's her YouTube channel. She has a new YouTube channel and it's fantastic. Go sub her up. She said, I found this guy at the Goodwill bins for less than a dollar. He sold in about a month for $48.99 and I did not pay the shipping. Some of the Animal Fair, Animal Fair plush sell great. He is Animal Fair, Henry Dog plush stuffed animal, and he is cute. Check him out. Here is another one from Stellar Seller Sam. And this bolo sold on Christmas Day on an auction for $105. Buyer paid shipping. Found at the Goodwill for $0.50. Cents. I never would have picked this up if it weren't for Courtney's channel. Thanks. It is a T.Y. Beanie Silky Booze. Frost the Arctic Fox, Walgreens exclusive. I just probably did a video. Um, she probably saw this and then found the item because I did a video on Thai. I always want to say T-Y. Thai beanie boos that go for big money. And there's a handful that go for over $100. You got to watch this video. It's right here. I will link it down below. Definitely go watch it because you're probably walking right past these. I know that I was until I did the research. And um, just incredible. I bought this. 
I bought at the Goodwill for $2.99 and took a best offer of $200. It's the Bluebird Dinner, I'm sorry, the Bluebird Diner, Hawthorne Village, Welcome to Mayberry, Andy Griffith Show. And this is what it looks like. That Hawthorne, if you see Hawthorne, look it up. A lot of that is a bolo. Okay, this one comes from The Restless Thrifter. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. The Restless Thrifter. This is her YouTube channel. Bought for $3 at a 50% off sale at the Salvation Army. Sold in minutes on Poshmark. And I had gotten two offers on eBay at the same time. Tom Bin, B-I-H-N, has a following for sure. Next time I would not cross post right away. The buyer got 30% off on Posh because they bundled three items for my automatic discount. Smart buyer. Um, so I'm not sure. I think it sold for 158. Is that, I think that's, I don't know if that's the bundle deal or not, but it's a flyer travel bag, two compartment carry on convertible backpack. How cool is that? I probably would have walked right past it. This one comes from Cat Feelin' Thrifty. This is her eBay store and it is a Charles Marion Russell bronze Buffalo figurine statue. She purchased this at a clean-out estate last day for $10, sold on auction for $197.50 plus shipping. Sold this vintage 1997 San Francisco Music Box Company Disney Anastasia figurine for $120, paid $5 at a yard sale. These are very rare, and I probably could have gotten a lot more eventually, but I'm happy with it. Some items in the same set from the same year sell for $500 plus. So it looks like this sold on Mercari. This is what it looks like. Definitely be on the lookout. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Boldly Grow Pickers. Boldly Grow Pickers on eBay. This Power Rangers White Ranger wristwatch was an item saved from when my brothers and I were kids. So cost of goods was basically zero. Sat for a year, but sold both of them on eBay in the past 30 days. This one sold for full asking of $34.99. The other sold for $24.99 and is headed to Greece. And this is what they look like. Uh, follow me for fantastic finds, Bolo Buddies member. And this is her store. Another barn find. Found this awesome fiber optic lamp in our family's old storage barn. So it was free to me, just sweet. I sold it on eBay for $32. Buyer was all in for $41.32 or $23. Um, I absolutely love these. I have sold them on multiple occasions they um they do really well but I also like to keep them I love fiber optics so it's a color changing fiber optic flower lamp and they come in different different flowers um a lot of times like the music box won't work or so the colors won't change the wheel won't spin uh, I think the two that I have right now um, they have issues. That's why I have not listed them. And I was like, you know, I'll just look at them for a little while. They're pretty. And some of them go for more than others. So definitely do your research and look them up because they are really, really cool. And this is what it looks like. And this one also comes from Follow Me for Fantastic Finds. Found at a community sale for $5. It is an indoor tabletop hydroponic growing kit. Paid $5 and sold for $28. Buyer paid shipping all in for $42.70. What is this? Aero Garden Sprout Indoor? I don't know what this is. Is this like for bad stuff? <laughs> <laughs> or is this like, what kind of plants do you grow in this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, this one comes from the Restless Thrifter. Here's her uh, YouTube channel. Paid $5.99 at the regular Goodwill. Sold in two days on Mercari for $80 plus shipping. It's a double D ranch where it is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a definite bolo, both modern and vintage. The most, I'm sorry, the more embellished, the better. And this is what it looks like. The Holy Bible easy to read version is specifically translated to meet the needs of the deaf who learn English differently than spoken word learners. Bolo for these translations. I got this one at a yard sale for a dollar and sold it for 20 plus shipping. Hmm. There you go. I found it in a smaller neighborhood thrift store that I like to buy books from. I did not have a price and what, I'm sorry, it did not have a price and was purchased with a few other items. The bundle price was $5. 
but the price paid for it was less than a dollar. It sold for, are you kidding me? $3,255 on auction. The starting bid was 25. I had no comps and thought I would be lucky to make a hundred. <gasps> oh my gosh. So it's from a bookstore. Play, wait, no, I'm sorry. A smaller neighborhood thrift store where I like to buy books, but it's not a book. It's a vintage Elfin Brawl, Elfin Brawl bottle beer sign, 1910 Michael Brewing Company. What? That's what it looks like. Wow. Somebody wrote, did people start bidding right away or did you get a shock at the very end? He said right away and it crept by 100 plus nearly every day. There were three bidders and it felt like a fight between them awesome okay this one comes from thrift and style 1156 that is her ebay store this is a oh she told me how to say it lalique france perfume bottle i found in the bin maybe a dollar fifty for it took an offer of 211 from 280 i bought it brought it down to 240 and somebody offered me 211 so i took it and she put pronunciation lol lalique <laughs> because she knew i would say it wrong all right, so this is what it looks like, and it looks like this is an empty perfume bottle. You do need to make sure that the perfume bottle is empty. Make sure it says empty in the title and that you can clearly see that the bottle is empty. I just did a video on vintage perfume and listing it on eBay. I did a lot of research on it. This is what the video looks like. If you sell perfume, go watch that video. It's very important. And there's the what she sold this is oneida silverware set i found at my mom's house it was five piece set for two i listed in two weeks i listed it two weeks ago and took a best offer of 80 dollars. it's aquarius 10 piece flatware set so a lot of times they have um names to the patterns if you can figure that out definitely put it in the title it's a 24k electroplate new old stock and she sold it for 99 uh, i'm sorry best offer of 80 dollars all right, you guys, we are going to stop there. I just got the battery alert that my phone is about out of juice, so I need to plug in. Um, I've been recording for probably three hours, and um, now I have to pop up screenshots to all these videos. Oh, my goodness. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you made it this far, comment, I made it to the end of the video, and I will see you at the next one. Hit that bell to turn on notifications and be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching.